the Gospel of Mark. At the home of Simon and Andrew, Mark 1 29-39, Introduction 1. Mark's account of the ministry of Christ, like most of his Gospel, is a. Concise b. Fast-paced 2. Even so, Mark does reveal what it must have been like for Jesus a. On a daily basis b. In constant demand as a teacher and a healer For example, after teaching in the synagogue, casting an unclean spirit out of man, Jesus retires to the home of two of his disciples, Simon and Andrew. 1. Jesus heals Simon's wife's mother. A. The text. 1. Leaving the synagogue, they enter the house. Mark 1.29. A. The synagogue where Jesus had taught with authority. Mark 1.21-28. B. The house of Simon and Andrew, whom Jesus had called. Mark 1.16-18. Immediately, when they had come out of the synagogue, they came into the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. Mark 1.29. 2. Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever. Mark 1.30. A. Her daughter the wife of Simon, better known as the Apostle Peter. Mark 3.16. B about whom the mother-in-law they told Jesus immediately. Now Simon's wife's mother lay sick with a fever, and immediately they told him about her. Mark 1.30 3. Whom Jesus heals immediately. Mark 1.31 A. Taking her by the hand and lifting her up. B. Free of fever, she then served them. He came and took her by the hand and raised her up. The fever left her, and she served them. Mark 1.31 B. Observations 1. Note the compassion of our Lord. A. Whether in the crowded synagogue or the quiet home, Jesus is ready to heal. Erdman B. The touch of his hand, suggests tenderness and sympathy. I bid. 2. Note that Peter was married. A. His wife would later join him on his travels. 1 Corinthians 9, 5. B. Who according to tradition suffered crucifixion together with him. C. That Peter had a mother-in-law shows that the idea of the celibate priesthood was foreign to that day. It is a tradition of men which finds no support in the word of God and which breeds a host of evils. Believer's Bible Commentary D. Requisite celibacy is certainly foreign to the Scriptures. 1 Corinthians 7, 2 and 9 1 Timothy 3, 2 and 12 3 Note the immediate response of the mother-in-law. A. Restored, she used her health to serve others. B. When restored from sickness. Do we show our gratitude by serving others? 2. Jesus heals many after sunset. A. The text. 1. At evening many assemble. Mark 1.32-33. A. After sunset, when the Sabbath was over. B. All who were sick, and those demon-possessed were brought to him. C. The whole city gathered at the door of the house. At evening, when the sun had set, they brought to him all who were sick, and those who were possessed by demons. All the city was gathered together at the door. Mark 1.32-33 2. Jesus healed many. Mark 1.34 A. Mark says many. B. Matthew says all. Matthew 8.16 3. He cast out many demons. Mark 1.34 A. Just as he done with the unclean spirit in the synagogue. Mark 1.23-26 
b. Likewise forbidding them to speak, because they knew him. He healed many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons. He didn't allow the demons to speak, because they knew him. Mark 1.34 b. Observations 1. Note the time. At the end of the day, a. When people would normally retire, b. Yet Jesus receives all who come to him. 2. Note the response of the people. a. Reacting naturally to hearing of one who could really heal. b. If someone could really heal like Jesus or his apostles, crowds could not be kept away. Acts 5.14-16 3. Note the success of the healer. a. Jesus healed all who came to him. Matthew 8.16 b. The apostles had similar success. Acts 5.16 c. Contrast this with so-called faith healers today. 3. Jesus takes time to pray. a. The text. 1. Jesus rises early in the morning, long before daylight. Mark 1.35 2. He departs to a solitary place, and there he prays. Mark 1.35 Early in the night, he rose up and went out, and departed into a deserted place, and prayed there. b. Observations 1. Note that Jesus was a man of prayer. a. Mark mentions other times that Jesus prayed. Mark 6.46 14.32-42 b. If the Son of God needed to pray, how much more do we? 2. Note that Jesus preferred places of solitude to pray. a. Luke says it was a deserted place. Luke 4.42 b. Jesus would like to go to a mountain. Mark 6.46 c. He prepared for his crucifixion by praying in quiet garden. Mark 14.32-42 d. We do well to seek out quiet places to pray. Also Matthew 6.5-6 6, 6. 4. Jesus remains true to his purpose. a. The text. 1. Simon and others search for Jesus. Mark 1.36. Simon and those who were with him followed after him. 2. Finding him, they tell how everyone is looking for him. Mark 1.37. And they found him, and told him, everyone is looking for you. 3. He says that his purpose requires that he go to other towns to preach. Mark 1.38 He said to them, Let's go elsewhere into the next towns, that I may preach there also, because for this reason I came forth. 4. Which he does throughout all Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. Mark 1.39 He went into their synagogues throughout all Galilee preaching and casting out demons. b. Observations 1. Note that Jesus' purpose was to preach. a. To proclaim the coming kingdom of God. Mark 1.14-15 b. Healing was secondary, to confirm his authority. c. Likewise our focus should be on what Jesus taught, rather than his miracles. 2. Note that Jesus preached and then moved on to the next town. a. Once people heard the message, he moved on to those who had not heard. b. Might this provide insight into our own evangelistic efforts? c. Oswald J. Smith said, No one has the right to hear the gospel twice, while there remains someone who has not heard it once. d. That is not entirely true, for the apostles later stayed in the same place for some period of time. Acts 17, 2, 18, 3-4 and 11.
19, 8 10. E. Even so, the point remains the same. Our purpose is to tell as many people as possible about the gospel of Christ. Mark 16 15. Conclusion 1. In the short time he was at Simon and Andrew's home, Jesus revealed himself to be a man of a. Compassion b. Service c. Prayer d. Purpose 2. As disciples of Jesus, may we too be people of a. Compassion toward those who are sick b. Willing to serve others as we have the ability c. Prayer, taking the time and find the place to do d. Purpose, especially in regards to fulfilling the Great Commission. Speaking of the Great Commission, have you responded to its message? Matthew 28, 19-20 Mark 16, 15-16 The End The Gospel of Mark At the home of Simon and Andrew Mark 1, 29-39